Hey guys, Jay here. Sorry for the long delay. Yeah. Anyways, my PC is back up and running, and I wanted to make a video on a new game that I've been playing a lot called Rust. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head to the link in the description. You'll download this zip file, and when you open it, you'll notice that there is a folder inside of there. You'll need to drag that to your desktop. Awesome. Once that's done, you can get rid of the zip file, open up the folder you just put on your desktop, and you'll see a list of stuff that seems kind of similar to one of my previous videos. We're going over some stuff for those of you that missed it for my 7 Days to Die FPS video, and of course some unique stuff for each game, in this case Rust, that will help push you beyond the normal frame rate limits of your computer. So the first thing we're going to do is the Windows Timer Resolution Tweak. To do that, you'll go ahead and double click on it. You'll see a command prompt pop up and disappear, and that's how you know it's complete. Next, we will do the registry tweaks. And then we will update and install all Visual C. When you run this batch file, you'll need to press a key to get started. It'll go ahead and go through all the installation processes. So I'll meet you guys back here when it's done. All right, once that's complete, we'll press another key. And now we're going to remove Windows bloatware. To open this, you'll right click it and click Run with PowerShell. Once that's complete, we'll run the Performance Power Plan Creator. Again, we'll need to press any key to continue. Once that's complete, we'll go ahead and update and install DirectX. I don't usually want the Bing bar, so if you don't, make sure to uncheck this box. Alright, and the last two things require us to open up Steam. From Steam, we'll head to our library, search Rust, right click it, and hit Properties. In Properties, we're going to set the Launch Options by opening the Launch Options text folder. As you can see, there's a helpful guide here for how to customize your amount using this formula. This is a great example and also the one that I personally use for my rig since I do have identical specs to the 32 gigs 6 core with 2 threads per core. Once that's complete you'll close out and you can go ahead and launch the game for the final binds. Alright guys so once we're in game you'll press F1 on your keyboard to open up the console and you can paste in the first code. This is going to be for a zoom. It only works if your FOV is set higher than 70, however when you press Z, you'll get an awesome on-screen effect of zooming in and out, and is very helpful for combat. Alright guys, and the second bind is going to be for auto run. Whenever you press X, your character will automatically sprint forward in a straight direction. Very useful for alt tabbing, or in general, crossing the map without using your fingers. Alright guys, and the final thing we're moving on to is settings. Obviously, if you're looking at this video, you guys do not want the very lowest settings. If you did, you would have just set it to that for maximum frame rate. You guys clearly want some sort of balance between quality and optimal frames, and I'm here to bring that to you. To start, we'll slide the field of view all the way to max, turn off head bob, turn off hurt flash, and I like to leave my FPS counter at advanced plus ping. However, all these settings are optional and whatever you want to do is, is totally fine. Under censorship, we'll change nudity to underwear. Physics to zero max gibbs and creation effects off. And then we'll head down to the screen tab, which we will set to native resolution with no FPS limit and vSync turned off. Graphics will be set high with a render scale of 1.0. If you have NVIDIA, I optimize by setting max performance. However, AMD users cannot use this. For shadow quality, we'll set it to one, cascades at two, shadow lights zero, water quality one, water reflection zero, shader level 300, draw distance 1250, shadow distance 242, filtering at one, parallax mapping zero, global rendering off, global render distance at 500, grass displacement on, grass shadows off, NVIDIA Reflex Mode on plus boost, NVIDIA Reflex Latency Marker off, Mesh Quality we're going to do Particle at 0, Object at 100, Tree at 95, 
tree meshes at 10, terrain at 0, grass at 0, and decor at 100. Finally, in image effects, we will do TSSAA because it looks the best. Everything else is going to be off except sharpen, and we'll head to experimental just to make sure that occlusion culling is on, contact shadows and petal support are off, and processor affinity is on. You can go ahead and set the GC buffer to max while you're in here, however it has very minor impacts on your game, and I'm not really sure if this is going to make much of a difference for you. And that's all for today's video guys, I hope you guys make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see some Rust gameplay or rating content, be sure to let me know in the comments, and if you guys want to see more auto content, be sure to let me know as well.